This is an example of how you can use a layer that's generated from an analysis in the spatial portal in further analytical procedures. What we've done here is produced a prediction of the Tasmanian Devil for the Tasmanian area, where you can see the probability values here and mapped on this surface with the backdrop of the points where observations of the Tasmanian Devil have been. So the high prediction areas are the blue area here. And you can see that the points are mapped as an individual layer and the prediction as a surface. What we're going to do is to do a scatter plot looking at the output prediction layer against another variable. So we're going to plot the Tasmanian Devil. We don't want to highlight. In this particular case, we're going to take the prediction as the X layer and as the Y layer. What we're going to do is to take one of the best predictors out of the prediction model and create the scatter plot of it. So now it's just processing the records to create the scatter plot. And there's the result. So what we can see here is a scatter plot of the prediction layer values, so high probability at this end, against the precipitation of the driest quarter. So you can see that there's a pretty good, slightly nonlinear relationship where the higher values of predicting the probability of the Tasmanian Devil occur with lower values of precipitation of the driest quarter.